Welcome to Redskins Late Night here at the fabulous Green Turtle, Dulles Town Center. I am your host, Chris Paul. And guess who my special guest is? Robert Griffin III. Redskins Late Night starts right now. A lot of these defensive players in the league are trying to put some serious lumber on you because they resent the hype. They see the Subway commercial, they get a little upset. How come I didn't get a Subway commercial? So they're going to try and put that shoulder in you extra hard. You feel that a little bit? Oh, I mean, you always feel it every game. You know, guys will come to you, talk trash. Oh, let's see that play again where you went airborne right there. Look at that. Boom! We got so nervous, but then you hop right back up and started playing some ball again. That's what we love to see. This man is made of rubber. You can't do, you can't do nothing to him. You can't do nothing to him. Chris Cooley, our guest here on Redskins Late Night. We're going to continue to pick his brain, get inside this Redskins locker room, and I'm going to tell you why he's a pioneer. He doesn't even know this. I'm going to tell you why. Coming up. And Chris Paul, as well as jazz saxophonist Ski Johnson. Ski's visiting us for a second time. Good to see you again. Good to see you. You guys are up to something. This looks like the finale of The Black Bachelor. You got to pick one. <laughs> one. Only one of us. Only make your one. decision. What do you guys have to offer over here? Help me make my decision. Well, I don't know about Ski, but Huggy and I just finished doing a Joe Boxer commercial. Oh, ding, my goodness. Ding, 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 There you go. There you go. Kmart would be happy with that. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm I'm I he walk around with his horn all day. I just carry this. I've seen man. brothers with bigger horns. Huh? <laughs> Even though I'm over wait I'm fairly healthy I know this because I just got a checkup fellas you've got to get regular checkups like women do that's why women outlive men women want to know when something's wrong with their bodies right ladies especially when something's wrong with your stuff oh when something's wrong downtown y'all don't mess around you go right to your OBGYN and fellas we have no idea what that stands for I asked the old dude once, I said, school me, brother, what's OBGYN? He said, uh, old bitch got yeast now. <laughs> Brothers give each other bad information. <laughs> but for real, everybody, get a checkup and encourage your loved ones to get checked up. Because we're all getting old, right? Yeah. Shit is falling apart on us every day. I feel old and I just turned 40. Who else is 40? 40 and up makes some noise. 40 and older. Real grown people. Now I see we got some young people out there too. That's cool. But I'm warning you young people tonight. Everything changes when you turn 40. Everything changes at 40. When you turn 40, you start to do shit that you never ever thought you could do. Like fall asleep at 7.30 on a Saturday night. Oh, you're dressed to go out. You had big plans, but they took a little too long picking your ass up. You got 500 missed calls. <sighs> Wake up Sunday, wear that outfit to church. Everything changes at 40. Fellas, when we turn 40, we can no longer sleep through the night without having to get up and take a piss. A man's bladder gets weak at age 40. And when you turn 50, you get up twice a night. 63 times a night. 70, you just wake up in the morning and clean that shit up. And flip the mattress.